From Africa to Henderson County by Crystal Colley. Exhibited spaces decorated with African faces with ancestral whispers heard in halls, Henderson County's African American history proudly displayed on the walls. Carved by the Ashanti, painted beautifully, the round brown mask stares culture at me. Within this room and down the gallery hall, statues of my ancestors from Ghana, West Africa, stands tall. Legacy painted by Diamond Cash, preservation of our county's greatest history, guaranteed to last. So sit back and enjoy my cultural class. Thanks to the First Congregational United Church of Christ to allow my creativity, knowledge, and love of my county's history that is a part of me. Hello, welcome from Africa to Henderson County, the African art of Crystal Collie. This beautiful painting that you see is titled Legacy. The artist is Diamond Cash and this picture was made for Black History Collective of Henderson County, North Carolina. You will see the shape of Henderson County that's in green with arms extended upwards, lifting up the county. On both sides of the county, you have the kente cloth, and we will discuss that in a few minutes, as well as the Blue Ridge Mountains in the back. There are a few dots on the county that you see, and it was used to represent the different communities that Henderson County was once known for. Their names are Brooklyn, Black Bottom, West End, and Peacock Town. These are areas that people in the past used to describe the locations that they were going to. For instance, Brooklyn is basically in 7th Avenue and the Green Meadows community area. Peacock Town would be across town, so that's more towards like the Henderson County Public Library over in that area. Next, we will discuss some carvings that you see as well. African carvings are really important in African culture. As you can see, there are various types of carvings. We have statues, we have people standing on top of people climbing, um, which is known as the Tree of Life from Tanzania. We also have an African king, also known as Oba, O-B-A from Nigeria, which is in the back. We have African combs, that you see, as well as different styles of mud cloth. They appear like scarves, they're under the carvings. Uh, the mud cloths actually communicate messages by the different shapes and patterns. As we had discussed, I was going to tell you about the kente cloth that you see in Legacy. The, the kente cloth is known in Africa, especially West Africa. It's used for royalty and it's used at special occasions. The yellow represents gold. The green represents agriculture, as well as the black represents hardship. And it's just a reminder of where you were in the past and what you experienced and what you are going forward to. The Legacy Project by Crystal Colley is important to preserve the black history of Henderson County, North Carolina. There is a lot of great stories 
that we have all heard about Henderson County. And traditionally, African Americans pass stories down orally and they're not written down. My goal is to use those oral stories and put them on a canvas and use artwork to tell the stories so we can preserve our history. Finding beautiful pieces to tell the African experience for this project is very important to me. I found this vintage piece here in Hendersonville, North Carolina at a local consignment shop. I like the piece because it shows two African women in a village and you see one is pounding. She's more than likely pounding yam, Y-A-M, in her village. And also I look for artwork that will uplift this project because there's a lot of artwork from the past that shows African Americans not in a positive light. And I feel that this is a reflection of a good way to describe the project that I'm trying to do. This beautiful piece, Celebrations by artist Diamond Cash. This piece shows women uplifting their hands, celebrating, having faith in God. And for many African Americans, church life and having faith is very important in our culture. And I think that this is a great piece as well for the project. We have a lot of old historic African-American churches here in Henderson County that has wonderful history. With this section, we get to travel to three countries, Kenya, Ghana, and Nigeria. Over to the left, we have a beautiful mask and it's by the Maasai tribe from Kenya. You will see the children on both sides. You have the son on the left and the daughter on the right. There's details for both children that have beads in their hair and also around the neck. The piece in the middle we have from Ghana and it's a Barinka Faso hand woven fan. It's made of elephant grass. These fans are very popular. You can use them to cool off or also just for regular home decor. The wood carving that shows mother and child is from Nigeria. The symbols on the mother, on the garment that she's wearing, they're known as Adrinka symbols. The symbols all usually mean protection, family, as well as faith. Having an African collection, you have to have carvings. The carvings are, like I said before, a very big part of the culture. This carving right here is used for ceremonial purposes. And I just thought that it would look amazing for this collection as well as for this gallery hallway. And ceremonies meaning like such as weddings, um, parties, rites of passage. So this is a ceremonial mask. Standing tall, we have two masks made, of, made from wood from Ghana, West Africa. These are vintage pieces. They're very nice to have. Um, usually I will have both of these standing tall statues on both sides of my door and they are just wonderful pieces. You can look at the, um, <clears throat> you can look at the different patterns in both of the standing statues and see that a lot of work and craftsmanship was put in these statues. The South African bowl is made of wood and this bowl is a piece that will stay around for a long time. If you look at the patterns and also the shape and how it's made, it can be used for multi-purposes. 
You can hold different items in the bowl. You can use it as decor. I usually will use this bowl as decor, but it can hold items. And I just love this piece. The African Family, painted by Diamond Cash, shows two parents and a child in the middle. The colors with the orange and red. When I first saw this painting, I fell in love with it and actually it's the first painting that I bought from this artist. It just reminded me of a family walking together um, in Africa and the sky had, has the orange and yellow tones in it and it's just a beautiful piece. It reminds me of how life used to be. This piece is titled Crowns by artist Diamond Cash. And the story behind this is showing that African women in history have always worn crowns. There are kings and queens in Africa. There are still some places that practice king and queens as their ruling government. And I just thought that this is a beautiful piece to remind people that we did come over here enslaved, but we came from a rich history. We came from a history of kings and queens. We came from a history of having brought civilization to the world through science, math, teachings. So this is just a reminder that there there is a beautiful history. The next wood carving comes from Kenya. This beautiful giraffe, it has really great detail. It's a beautiful piece. Beside it, we have what is titled the hut. And it's made of, it's a metal sculpture. It shows a gentleman taking a break in his village um, taking a drink, get, becoming refreshed. And then at the bottom there, there's a pocket purse made of coconut shells. It has two elephants on it. The water girl carving comes from Ghana. This shows a woman that has went to go fetch water from what I was told. Um, beautiful carving. This carving was an inspiration to me. I am also a creative writer and I wrote a piece titled The Talking Walls. You can find it online at theurbannews.com and The Urban News is a newspaper that allows writers to write creative pieces and again, it's called The Talking Walls, and this piece was my inspiration. Paying homage to the African-American churches here in Henderson County, I had a painting done by Diamond Cash, and this is titled Rooted Glory. The two busts here represents a male and a female these two African carvings show basically a relationship with each other. And so I wanted to include these two busts into the gallery hallway. Thank you so much for joining us as we went through to talk about the beautiful pieces here. These pieces speak volumes about the African and the African-American experience here in Henderson County, North Carolina. Thank you so much.